Yeah. You. Oh, good evening, everybody. Well, it's evening here in the UK, or Tenerife as I am. It's on UK time. And I just want to welcome everybody to the Hangout. I think there's been a little bit of a problem with the events page. Uh, one or two people are having trouble actually re viewing the events page. Um, I've tested it myself on multiple browsers and computers and things and it seems to be working okay for me but I understand one or two people are probably going to arrive late uh, because of that issue. Um, but before I start I just want to introduce my co-host this evening, Vicky. Hello. How are you doing tonight, Michael? I, and I guess it's not evening for me. I'm in I'm in Colorado, and uh, I've kind of been out of the loop for a little bit. Had some medical issues going on with my husband, but I'm ready to roll forward and and get some hosted hangout questions answered. Good. Um, for those of you who are watching on Facebook, and I know there are a few. Um, you may find that the Q&A application at the bottom isn't displaying. Just press F5 on your keyboard, it will refresh the screen and the Q&A app will start running. And For those watching on Google, you can comment on the event page. We're tracking the events here. I uh, notice Ronnie's made a comment against the event, which is right, we're having some issues with events not, not displaying for people. Uh, we're tracking the hashtag, uh, hosted hangouts. Um, we're tracking comments on uh, YouTube as well, uh, across uh, Google in general. And unfortunately, for some reason, I can't get the Q&A app running. Um, but that's as it, as it is. Um, by all means, if you have any questions, push them through to Facebook, uh, Google, Google, come to the Google event page. Or if you're on Twitter, just use the hashtag anywhere, uh, Hosted Hangouts, and uh, you'll be able to... Uh, push the question through to us here. So <clears throat> the whole point of this this uh, event is to run a brief demonstration of the hosted hangout system, how it works, uh, what makes it different from other systems uh, and hopefully how easy it is to use because um, hosted hangouts came out of frustration I guess of, of Google events and webinar systems and then when I started looking into it um, there were various webinar systems out there that um, in my my personal opinion uh, didn't do everything that you know the end user wanted the, 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 the presenter wanted and cost way too much so Vicky and I worked together on uh, the skills exchange Ah, uh, it isn't displaying on the video on the uh, Facebook page. So, if you can just take over for just one second, Vicky, and I'll make sure that the video is displaying on the Facebook page, and then come straight back in if that's okay. Okay, that sounds good. Bum, 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 bum. So I guess I can I can interject a little bit here and and just let the people know that are watching that I do have um, a course coming up called Hangout Basics, teaching, teaching those of you that are interested in learning uh, the basic Hangout skills, then we'll, we also are offering some Hangout training through, through hosted Hangouts for those of you that want to, to combine how to use the hosted Hangout service in the best way for your business. And Okay, are we up and running now? <laughs> yeah, it was a quick fix. Okay, good. good. <clears throat> it's one of one of the reasons why I'm doing the demo as well because hosted hangouts is a system. I mean, you worked with me on Skills Exchange, mm -hmm. and uh, hosted hangouts is a system that we developed in the Skills Exchange. But it was developed as a completely standalone application that could, as it has been, take could easily be taken out of Skills Exchange and standalone just to deliver webinars and one of the key things that you have to do is create the event and just as you do with Google Hangouts just before you go live you have the uh, embed code for the video and you have to copy the link for the video over to Hosted Hangouts and then Hosted Hangouts manages that and distributes it through to Facebook through to um, your website and anywhere else you like uh, somebody asked me just last week Excuse me. 
if they could uh, distribute the video to multiple Facebook pages and yes you can we create one application that one application then when you add it to your Facebook page you actually get a long list of all the pages that you manage say for example you have 10 20 pages that you manage on Facebook and you can put the application into all of those pages and for those that are watching on on Facebook right now yeah I apologize the demo video is there just press F5 on your keyboard it'll bring up the new video or bring up this this live stream although they won't be able to see that because they're watching the demo video <laughs> <That's right. laughs> hopefully it'll work that one out so unless maybe they were frustrated and they came back to watch the live event on yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever means they originally started so hopefully they saw that yeah well I also uh, we have the Q&A system running on on our system on Facebook and on the websites um, but unfortunately I couldn't get the Q&A system running here but you know people can quite happily put comments on the event page etc I'm just very quickly now going to go to the website I'll just uh, share my screen and hopefully I'll be able to uh, disable the screen share afterwards because there's been some issues with that as well when it's been oh. locking hasn't there but yes, that's easy. I just want to remind people that Hangouts are still in beta mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm glad you mentioned the training as well because you know Hangouts is a, a good system and you know for anybody wanting to reach a wider audience irrespective of whether they're using hosted hangouts to deliver into Facebook and branding and the website etc it's just a great tool and it makes life so much easier and it's um, how can I put it it's not like it. I personally feel when I'm watching a webinar as though I'm being talked at and with hangouts I've got the comment tracker running we've got the Q&A system running uh, we can take comments from YouTube from Facebook from Google I've, I've got a question up here on um, on YouTube from from somebody asking how does it work for viewers you know you can actually mute and unmute individual people in the film strip at the bottom here because when there are eight nine or ten people in the hangout I as the host uh, can go along and I can mute them because sometimes people come into a hangout and they don't realize that uh, they're touching the keyboard or they've got noise in the background and the microphones are really powerful they pick up everything that goes on around uh, the office or around the home and you can actually mute them and then they can choose to unmute themselves when they've sorted out the, the background noise and, and what's happening there so I'm just and, going and to sorry. I was just going to say I have my out my window open to the outside and I'm hearing cars driving by and I'm not sure if that's picking up nope, on your not end. at all Oh, okay, good. Because it's really nice outside, so I'd like to leave my window open. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to do a screen share here of uh, okay. the website. And that should be coming up now. Yep. Yeah. Okay, right, here's the website. And very simply, uh, I'm going to log in using uh, my account. I'm just connecting here with Facebook you can connect with Google and Twitter as well if you choose to and I have even though I'm running the site I actually have a standard account with a, a basic subscription now did did the skills exchange network accounts transfer over to hosted hangout to a hosted hangout account we're going to be migrating them uh, towards the end of October Okay. And shutting down subscriptions for the Hangouts and what we'll be doing then is running the skills exchange as a discussion based area because we still have people using the discussions boards and migrating all the webinar and Hangouts users across to hosted Hangouts I see uh, okay so I can um, what I should have done before we went live is clicked manage my hangouts and you'll see that um, it isn't there now because I have it'll be in replace because it's currently playing so I can click on that there we go hangouts demo with Q&A
and you'll see here that there's the title, etc. It's very for those that have used Skills Exchange. It's actually a much simpler system. You just put in the description. You'll see here that we have a branding URL, and that's uh, for the image where when the Hangout is running on Facebook, for example, as it is here. You've got the logo at the top right hand corner, hosted Hangouts, but you can actually change that logo to your own logo. And then you can change here where it links to. So you could just as easily have your branding there with your logo. And if somebody's watching the webinar in Facebook, they can actually click that and it goes straight through to your website. Somebody's asking about um, over on YouTube about volumes of, of users as well. Um, irrespective of how many how many people you have viewing the webinar if it's distributed through 10 20 or 100 Facebook pages 50 websites and you have a thousand people watching not a problem um, one of the things that we we get asked about as well is can you run the events privately and the answer is yes and no and I'll come on to that in a moment and back to editing the hangout You'll see here that we have, just as we did on the skills exchange, the details, the date and time. You select the time zone. But the key difference here with hosted Hangouts that we didn't have on the skills exchange is the participants list and the viewers list. Now, the participants list are the, is the people that are in the film strip at the bottom that can physically interact with the host, ask questions like you and I are doing at the moment. And the viewers is a list of people who you would like to invite to the event. Now, the viewers list at the moment is currently limited to 250, although we do have plans to increase that so that people can invite 500 or even 1,000 viewers. And that, that will all be managed directly from within our system. All the invites won't go out immediately. They may go out over a 5, 10, 15 minute period, but uh, we can manage that for the people that are wanting to uh, use hosted hangouts for me a much simpler system and you'll see here is the video ID that's what I should have updated when uh, we, we went live and we had somebody commenting saying that they couldn't see it on Facebook okay. <clears throat> so you just need to update that with the current video ID of your current hangout right that's that's right, right. now typically you would come in here to edit the Hangout 30 minutes before the Hangout goes live, put the video ID in. If you've invited uh, participants using our system, you'd then just put the link for the participant link there. We've got help files as well that talk people through this. Uh, if I click it, I don't think it will show up because I'm sharing this screen, not the one that will pop up. But okay. it basically tells you exactly where to get this information and how to invite participants to your system. Okay. Now, I'll, Debbie's making a comment there about some grey black bars at the bottom of the screen. Um, I'm going to guess that's on the website. Uh, but I'll have a look at that. If that's happening on the website, that's an easy fix for us. We can resolve that this evening. Now, the only other thing that I wanted to cover was whether you want to launch a private Hangout or a public Hangout. What we're doing now is a public Hangout, a Hangout on Air. And you'll see here that there's a tick box that says Public Event. Now, as anybody who's familiar with Hangouts will know, all Hangouts on Air are public. So even if I create a private event but launch a Hangout on Air so that I can broadcast it to 100,000 people, that event will still be visible within Google+. However, it will only be visible for a few minutes because other Hangouts on Air will start above them. And there are other methods as well to keep the Hangout private. Um, for example, we, we run Hangouts using multiple accounts. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay, thanks for that, Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie's answering the question for us. It's part of the setup, the black bars. Now, one of the, the main reasons behind the hosted Hangouts is just to make life easy for people. 
if you want to have a webinar and stream that webinar through Facebook through your website brand it invite people and have somebody else manage the, the legwork invite the, the participants distribute the hangout make the hangout available for your website and for for Facebook then that's what hosted hangouts is really good at doing you can literally have an event up and running in less than five minutes put the app on your Facebook page um, when you edit the hangout um, you actually get some code to add it to the, your website so that the hangout gets distributed through hosted hangouts to your website with the embedded Q&A system at the back and one of the things that we're working on over the next couple of days is whether to disable or enable the Q&A system so if somebody's watching on Facebook for example and they were to ask a question uh, they, they could they could very easily the person that's creating the hangout disable the Q&A system it's possible they don't want people to ask questions for example so they can just have a standard webinar delivery take comments through uh, Google or through their own system and uh, just deliver a, a standard webinar that way now the only other thing that I was asked about was private webinars um, this week I was talking with a couple of business coaches about delivering private webinars one-on-one -on -one. now as as anybody will know if, if you want anybody who's using hangouts at the moment will know if you're using a hangout on air that hangout on air automatically goes over to YouTube once it's finished this one will yours do when, when you're doing training don't the Vicky right yes they do right but with a private hangout if it was just me and you nobody else would be able to see it I guess and nobody else would be able to come in and the private ones you cannot record though is that correct at least you cannot record them through YouTube you can have a third-party software like GoToWebinar or something exactly that can record it. yeah um, right. I was talking with somebody earlier this week and I recommended Camtasia for example uh, yes. I could very easily be giving you training on uh, hosted hangouts and at the same time record the screen and then put that video up onto my website into a private area where people have to log in to download it excuse me or put it up to YouTube um, so in essence this the system from my point of view and I hope from the point of view of the people that are using it at the moment is actually quite quite easy we have uh, a number of people who are finding that um, the actual event creation is much simpler the only hard part about it that I've been told is the participants list because it has to be a comma separated list of email addresses so you have to have the email addresses of course to invite the people um, and one person now that uh, we've been working with has moved entirely away from Google events they don't even use Google events they use our system because they can launch the hangout from our system create the event from our system and communicate with everybody that's going to attend so it makes life so much easier for them and if these people wish to communicate through Google or another platform they can do that as well you know? So I just want to clarify something for myself on when you were doing the screen share and showing where you invite your your viewers now do you invite the viewers that are only members of hosted hangouts or if you have an email address can you invite someone that does not have a hosted hangouts account that way no you can actually invite anybody you like the only caveat is that we have uh, an acceptable use policy that basically says you cannot use the system to spam people everybody who you email must be somebody who you know or who has subscribed to a mailing list okay. they do not have to be a member of hosted hangouts they don't need a hosted hangouts account they don't even need a Google account to view the participants the people in the the film strip at the bottom they do need a Google account because of course they will be participating in a, a Google Plus live hangout on air right but we've tested it uh, quite thoroughly uh, the invite system was probably the, the part that took up around 50% of the development time because it's really complex and you have to make sure that people are not using uh, or should I say are using the system correctly and not trying to uh, for want of a better phrase spam people 
you know, we don't want the system to be uh, one where people think, oh, I can set up a webinar and I can just invite a few hundred people because if we receive complaints of a particular user, we'll just close the account, unfortunately. You know, it's not designed for that. It's, it's designed for collaboration. Right. So, so you can invite people with, by just their email then? Yeah, very easily. You just add a, a long listing of all the email addresses with a comma separated value. Okay. And somebody's also asking here about uh, on YouTube with regards uh, posting a URL to a, um, a Facebook page. Yeah, you can. Um, one of the things I didn't show, but I'll just screen share very quickly and show again, is here's the hosted Hangouts page on Facebook itself. And if I just go to the page, and a couple of things to notice are the icon here and the text underneath can be edited when you've added the application. You simply click that button there, edit settings. So you can call it anything you like. You could call it Sarah's next video, for example. Okay. Um, when you go to the webinar itself, or the Hangout, it starts playing live. Pause that, that's better. And the Q&A system is running underneath. Turn that off. And one other thing, a key point um, that we've, we've found with other systems that are running Hangouts through Facebook is the content is gated. As And here comes Michael. Oops, I still don't hear any sound. There no, it's okay. I had my microphone muted. Okay, there we go. Good. It's I... really strange. I was in the middle of answering a question, looking away from the screen, and I just yeah. saw something flat, and I thought, oh, what's happened to the Hangout? <laughs> yeah. Well, and I didn't know, I didn't know if it was my, on my end and I had lost sound. Yeah. <coughs> Ronnie me. loves this. It's all going. It's all going belly up. <laughs> yeah, he's giving well, us, kinda, he's giving us as I much technical winged. help as he can. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ronnie. I I winged it and uh, tried to explain how technical problems can happen when doing Hangouts. But it yeah. is it is cool that you can keep the Hangout open and still it be able nice. to get back in. Definitely. Andrew was asking a question earlier about the RSVP um, for attendees. Now, if you use hosted Hangouts, and let's say we increase the limit to 1,000 people, and you invite 1,000 people to an event, um, we can actually provide the host with a facility to put a link in the email where people can click it and opt in to say, yes, I will be attending. That, that's entirely possible. Um, I'm, uh, for me, for my part, I'm more than happy to include that into the system. So if Andrew, if you want to get hold of me after the Hangout or another day, and we'll discuss it a little bit more, and uh, we'll develop a system that works not just for you but for others as well. Because I have been asked if we will manage mailing lists as well. And personally, I'd prefer not to, but what we can do is actually develop a separate system where if you don't have your own website with your own mailing list, we can actually give you access to shared resources on the server so that you and only you can access that mailing list, create the event on hosted Hangouts, and send an email to all the people that you want to participate. Okay. I don't know what's happened with Hangouts. I've lost the apps. I've lost my, my lower third. It, it, it's oh, all gone. Yeah, your lower third is gone. As it says, as we say in England, it's all gone, Pete Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, thanks, Ronnie. It's nice to have somebody, somebody there to step in, like you, yourself, holding the hangout open for us as well. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, I don't want to go on and on. I think 30, 40 minutes is more than more than long enough for the hangout, to be honest. And if anyone's got any questions, you know, by all means, post it on the event page. Contact me directly. Post it on the hosted Hangouts page. 
And one other thing is the prices um, that are actually available on the hosted Hangouts at the moment. I don't even need to screen share for this. I remember them. It's twenty four <laughs> ninety nine a month, and that includes the Facebook application with the Q and A. It's everything. If you want to trial it, you're more than welcome. I think it's four dollars ninety nine for seven days. And an additional bonus is if you go to the hosted Hangouts page on Google and click any link anywhere in, in the Google page to go out to the hosted Hangouts website. As a Google user, you'll see a banner in the top corner. Click on that and you'll get a discount code. So, money for old rope, I'd say. Okay. That sounds good. Oh, and your lower third just popped up. At last, yeah. And regarding the Hangouts uh, training, training as well, Vicky, because I don't want people to think that we're just providing a system to deliver the Hangouts. Um, so if you could just talk for a couple of minutes about what you, you're doing to help as well with regards to training. Well, uh, and I, I don't have the prices memorized, so I, I'm not sure what the additional price is if they want training to go with it, but we're we're actually in the process of putting the program together. So I'm, you know, I'm open to work with the first few individuals that sign up. I'm, I'm going to be offering a Hangout Basics training course, and like I said earlier, I will combine it with how how the base the Hangout Basics works with using the hosted Hangout. So they learn a little bit about the hosted Hangout system as as well as some of the the Hangout Basic etiquette and certain learning certain buttons to push and and yeah. learning learning which issues uh, you may have trouble with <laughs> so and, yeah. and learn, learning things uh, how, to, how to create your lower third how to use the hangout toolbox how to use some of the other basic apps that are available to help make life easier for the, the local business or brand yeah I think that's the whole point as well Vicky you know I'm a developer and uh, I've, been, I've been working with systems complex and simple for many years and for me things should be simple for, for two types of people the busy person like yourself or myself that we really haven't got time to try and learn new things just make it simple for me click 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 right I'm happy and also for the people that are not technically minded or not very you know they may have time to learn something but they just don't want to so you make it nice and easy click 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 and with hosted hangouts you create the event easily you add the add the people easily and the event goes live it's as simple as that and I would always recommend 100% if somebody is new to Hangouts and they want to deliver professional Hangouts or polished Hangouts, as I would say, you know, so that where people look a little bit more seasoned, then I would always recommend training without exception because I see people running Hangouts who may have very good credentials, but the delivery is faulty so it makes you think okay well uh, I can listen to the person and I like the product I like the service but the presentation the presentation does it for me no. right so, right and there there is a learning curve <laughs> there's there's many buttons to learn how to push in Google Hangouts yeah and one of the things I just wanted to uh, leave on as well is um, as we've we've been discussing with business coaches and with others about how to better use the system and features that they want to see and some of the features that we're going to be developing will be specifically for business coaches because they want the one-to-one -one relationship or one-to-few relationship with their trainees and also for marketeers or marketers I don't know which terms correct to be honest but people who are wanting to mark use use hangouts to market products or services and we want to develop a nice you know a powerful system that anybody can use can use easily uh, and not get you know confused with the technology so with that it's, it's good night for me and Good night from Vicky, I think. Okay, good good afternoon for me. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. It's two thirty yes. in the afternoon yes, for you. The sun's still out. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thanks very much for your time, Vicky, and thanks for jumping okay. in at, at the last minute. And okay, I'm hoping thank to run you, Michael. Oh, and I'm hoping to run another session, hopefully 
uh, the beginning of or the middle of next week. What I'd like to do is engage with people between and find out if there's something specifically that we can focus on and then uh, deliver a hangout specifically for that, that particular area. So thanks very much everybody. Thanks.